Apologize, nigga. Gotcha, man. Say my, sorry, nigga. My bad for the Say distance, sorry, Jesus. nigga. So guys, before we do get into this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe down below, turn on that notification so you never miss another video from me. Oh shit, I just pointed. That's gonna get probably demonetized now. <laughs> ah, the joy of internet beef. So that released a uh, diss track per se called I'm Not Jonah or Don Q. First of all, I don't really think it's a, I don't really think it's a diss track. But before we set anything aside in terms of the beef with Tory Lanez and anything like that, if you have not watched the video already, I was debating whether to do a reaction to it. I might do. If you do like this video and comment down below, I'll do a reaction to it. But it's probably one of the best songs I've heard in literally in years. Like the wordplay, the flow, everything from Dax in that is just it's impeccable. It's like it's amazing. So shout out to Dax for that. Young upcoming rapper, very, very good artist. He's very, very wise and knowledgeable for someone his age, especially with terms of the whole hip hop scene and stuff like that. He knows how to manipulate words, syllables, wordplay, yeah, everything like that. Like he's a genius. Uh. Bit of a bit of a backstory to people that don't know what the f I'm going on about. Another rapper, Donkey, released a song called I'm Not Jonah. Jonah Lucas and digs at Tory Lane and obviously Jonah Lucas as well. And Tory Lane decided to drop a diss track on Don Q, and it was very very good. I have to say I do I do respect Tory Lane in that way. I wouldn't say he's my favourite rapper at all. Far from that. But he he he's quite he's quite decent. Check him out. And these two uh, actual diss tracks it says entitled diss track. And then obviously that released his. And then uh, obviously Tory Lane's. I think he felt a bit salty. You know. It's a little bit salt, salty about that. So what did he do? He decided to pull up on Dax. We're gonna watch the footage now, but before we get into anything, I don't understand the whole culture of pulling up. Things should just stay. I understand how it's completely different in the US than it is in the UK. But in America, they're really ouchy, you know what I'm saying? Well, it wouldn't be ouchy, it would be ouch there. Well, that would make sense. I don't know what the f I'm talking about at the moment. I mean, they'll really pull up on you. Like, you got the Crips, the Bloods, like, they're actual proper. They roll up in squads in America. Like, in my opinion, it should really all stay as an online thing and as a media thing because it's competitive. Even like Dak said in his uh, in his diss track, let's just call it, um, rap is the one of the most competitive sports. And, but in all honesty, yes, it has been that culture for years in hip-hop for people to be violent and committing crimes and things like that. But yeah, I didn't really feel like there was even even when I before I even watched this, I didn't really even feel there was a need for Tory Lanez to pull up because he wasn't even dissing Tory Lanez. He was just sort of saying, he's just sort of saying, I'm a better rapper. If that makes sense. But let's watch this clip now. Come here, this shit, all, all this shit's not gonna end, my nigga. All this shit's not gonna end. Apologize, bro. Apologize, bro. Before we start, before we get, like dive into this properly, I think it's only a few second clip. But he, that's his out of breath. So I don't know whether they pulled up on him and he's just like running down the street because you know he shows his abs a lot in his video so I don't know or if he's just in shock but one thing I would say about this is that people can call Dax a p they can call him you know a coward but you know there's about four or five people in that car like all squatted up and probably let's I'm gonna I'm gonna say it, they probably do have guns they probably do have weapons or if not they're, they're gonna jump him so I wouldn't really say that he's a coward for just like acting like that but I wanna actually see if he does say sorry or not Oh, you know, oh, you know what's going on. Apologize, my nigga. Apologize, nigga. I got you, bro. Apologize, nigga. I got you, man. Say my, sorry, nigga. My bad for the Say sorry, G. nigga. Sorry, G. All right, bet. I got you, G. Right, so from that clip alone, like, Tory Lane does seem mad. You can say he's not just saying, oh, yeah, man, you shouldn't have said that. Or, like, you know, he's like, probably, he's like, say sorry. Like, he's proper, he's actually angry. He's pissed. He's he's triggered. He's salty. Like, he is Salt Bay right now. So the first thing Dak said, is like, I got you, I got you, get them saying that, I got you. But like, I don't think he, you can tell in his eyes, he didn't really, like you can see there, he didn't really want to say sorry. Like it's cause for a rapper to say sorry, it's like the one of the most like embarrassing sort of things, especially being such a like a tough, like hard competitive sport. But yeah, I, you can tell like the way Dax was sort of like, he was sort of like almost like slurring his, stuttering his words almost. Like, and I feel like he was in shock because He's gonna get killed. Like, okay, I, I, I would, I would do the same thing. Every, anyone watching this video, they do not say you wouldn't do the same thing because your life is literally at risk. It. I mean, yes, it is. It's so stupid. It's over that that song he made, which was like not barely even a diss track, but that's the reality of it. And then Tory Lane just said at the end, yeah, bit. <laughs> 
It's like, come on. I don't know what he achieved out of that. I'm not sure if he was. I mean, to be fair, we gotta give we gotta give respect to, to Tory Lanez. Like credit where credit due. He came through. He said that if he was to, to he said to Dax that if you drop this diss track, yeah, then something's gonna happen. Like, and he sort of meant it in that way. Like he did actually show up, but obviously he didn't do anything. But I do wonder if Dax did not say sorry and he just went, you know what, yeah, piss right off. No, I don't care. I don't think he'd, if he done that yet, yeah, I mean, game over, GG. But I'm, I wonder if he didn't actually say sorry and he sort of just, if he sort of just beat around the bush, like, and didn't say sorry. I wonder what would happen uh, if they're serious like that. I'm not sure. But yeah, let me know down in the comments what you would do in that situation. If, if it was me in that situation. I mean, I'm either saying sorry, like proper apology. I'm bowing down on my knees, praying for my life now. Nah. I'm either saying sorry or I'm running now. Nah. But to be fair, Dax, he's a pacey guy. He looks fast. He looks like, he looks like he has about 99 pace. Imagine, yeah, Dax has 99 pace and the car has 42 pace. Like, how is Dax running out of car then? Toy Lion's like, fair play. He, he stuck to his word. He's a man of his mouth. No, that's not the phrase. What am I? Man of his mouth. Man of his word. Yeah, not a man of his mouth. That would mean you know, other weird thing. But he's a man of his word. He pulled up on Dax, yeah. He said a few things. Uh, I think he just done it to sort of just scare him, shock him. But to be fair, like, you, you can't second guess with that. From Dax's point of view, you can't second guess. If they got guns, they got weapons. But I looked up Dax, he sort of like looks down, if you see in the video, as if like they're holding some sort of gun there. And they've definitely, they've definitely got more than one per person in the car, obviously. Four or five people. He done well there. I mean, I'm, I'm saying done well. Like, there's not more much you can do in that situation, to be honest. To be fair, it is a bit like Tory Lanez did warn Dax, do not drop the diss track or something will happen. But, you know, Dax just dropped it anyway. Like, he just dropped it anyway. But to be fair, like, it's his song. Like, you can't really stop someone from doing it. It's not like he said anything racist. He didn't even say anything remotely bad in the song, really. He just said he's a better rapper. Dax was essentially just talking about what Tory Lanez talks about in this song about, like, about, like, girls, money, cars, and all that. And he and how Dax is a better artist because he writes well and he talks about like positive messages and things like that, which is like fair enough. If it's a competitive sport, you can't just say, Nah, you know what? Yeah, he dropped a diss track on me, and I just, just it, it, don't say sorry. You can't do that. Tory Lane should just do a diss track back at Dax. I don't understand. Like, if he actually does do that, like, he is a hypocrite because it's like you're going after him again, so you're just prolonging the whole situation. Like, if you guys did not know, like, when I say he warned him, like, he literally DM'd him, I'll put the screenshot here now. Like he's, he's talking about some sort of tactic, like, I know what your tactic is, it's not a 4-4-2 formation. You know what I mean? Like, it's not, it wasn't really a, t it wasn't really a massive dig. Like, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, yes, he did, in hindsight, he did call it Tory Lane's this, but he basically just sent him a message saying, don't drop, like, he, he didn't even know what it was. It could be, it could be like a, a parody, like, he didn't know what it was, but already he's just assuming that he's going to go after him. It's all a bit stupid to me, like, it's just bizarre how it's even a beef sort of thing. Dax didn't even really go for Tory Lanez or expose him, like, a lot of rappers have done that, Drake, Pusha T, like, people expose certain things, but Dax never exposed him, he never said anything about his hairline, never said anything about his height, N didn't, didn't say anything, like, near what, like, Don Q said to him in his diss track. And, an and another thing, you know, that, like, looking at Dax and obviously seeing him from videos, he's not the type of person that's, like, a conversation or negative person that wants drama. He's just doing his thing. He's just a new upcoming rapper. He used to be a janitor, believe it or not, two years ago. And he's just trying to make it. Everyone is trying to make it in the game. So let him do his thing. I don't see that big of a deal. I would say that in my, in my opinion, I'm on Dax's side to this because to be fair, I do prefer his music. I like his music. But also just looking at it from a complete neutral perspective, like there's no reason for him to pull up on Dax. He didn't gain anything out of it. I think it was more of a thing for he had a phone like if he just done it in general and it got released like someone else said it then it would be fair enough like he's actually annoyed but i feel like he's annoyed but he wants to show to the world like it's an online thing that's why he had his phone out like why would you need your phone out for just to say sorry he wants to show it online to embarrass him to put it on social media so he gets all the laughs or whatever but it's not that funny to be honest because it's not like he's it's just playground shit like yeah he probably has weapons in the car and i don't understand that of all the other people that made distracts from tory lanes and there's been quite a few people like why dax he's the last person that would have like a negative intent towards him i personally think he's going for the easier target and something that will just be like memed online like dax isn't like he's i'll say this he's an actual artist he's a professional artist but 
he made his way through YouTube and that sort of platforms. I mean, obviously he does promote it on other things, but even record deals nowadays, that's not really the way to go forward. Like, that can, that can be a real pain, I've been told by a lot of people. And to come up through record labels, like, they promise you the world and it doesn't come through. So the best way to do it in this day and age is post on YouTube. Like, this platform we're on now. And also, obviously, you've got Spotify, you've got Apple Music. So overall, I think it's a bit, I don't want to say, a bit weak-minded from Tory Lanez, the fact that he had to go there. Like, he's just doing it for the sake of it because he can. Like, that could easily pull up on anyone. Just sit in, get in a big car, or get in the Range Rover whip, pull up with, like, five, six of his boys at Tory Lane while he's just out and about. And it's like, it's going to be the same scenario. But that'll be all for today's video. But like I said, if you did enjoy this video, please hit that like button, subscribe down below, turn on post notifications so you never miss another video from your boy. I'm uploading every single day this year so far, including today and tomorrow and the day after and so and you get the pattern. So be sure to stay tuned. We've got a lot of videos coming out of the way. We've got vlogs, we've got challenges, we've got reactions, we've got podcasts, we've got comedy skits, we've got public videos. We have it all. We've got talk things like this, like th reacting to things that happen in the media. We've got Reddit things. We do it all. So, be sure to subscribe. Hope you did enjoy this video. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of this whole situation. Whose fault was it and who was in the right and who was in the wrong. And in a bit.